Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I am excited about this video. To be honest, I'm a little bit like... So this video came to me super last minute and now that I think about it, it's something that I have been wanting to record for a very long time. Like since I started my YouTube channel, this was something that I wanted to record, but I know that God's timing is perfect. So maybe this is meant to speak to someone right now who needs to hear this message. I know that it is applying to a season of my life. So I just hope that you will be encouraged by this video. By the way, my name is Brenda and I make faith-based videos like this every Monday. And I make them just to encourage you and to share lessons from my faith walk in hopes that it can help you where you're at or where you might be in the future. But if you are interested in that, I would really appreciate if you liked this video and subscribed to my channel. As you can see, we are going to be having a raw and honest talk about fear. And this isn't the type of video where I'm gonna come on and I'm gonna be like, this is how you get rid of fear. These are the steps you have to take to get rid of fear. Like, no, we're gonna be super chill today. I just want to make this video to meet you where you're at because hello, um, you're not alone. And when fear comes to mind, we can think of different things, but the truth is that fear comes in many different ways in our lives. So we don't want to limit fear to just one thing in our life and be like, oh, that's it, I struggle with fear. Okay, so I'm back. I had to take a little bit of a break because my dad decided to leaf blow um, when I started my video. So here we are like 15 minutes later. So as I was saying before I left and came back, so I struggled with fear my whole life and fear comes in many different ways. And this is something that I haven't talked about on my channel and that honestly I haven't really told that many people but here we are. Fear is something that I have struggled with my whole life. Ever since I was younger I was very afraid but in the sense of like I don't want to be alone in my house right now. Like three or four years ago if you had asked me if I would stay alone in a hotel overnight, no absolutely not like that the thought of that terrified me and there would be times where i would see my siblings be able to house sit for someone and just stay there by themselves and i'd be like how are you able to do that because that would literally freak me out so much it was just such a huge fear in me but since i've got saved by jesus everything has truly changed regarding that area of my life regarding that area of fear in my life i remember when i first got saved i was volunteering in the kids ministry and they needed me one day out of the classroom that i usually taught in and it was super random it was the only time that i've been in that room they were like brenda we need you with like the second and third graders because I was usually with the fourth and fifth and I was like okay I'll help out in there and I was just drawn to this little girl that was just crying in the corner she wouldn't want to hang out with the group she wouldn't want to do anything she was very emotional and I kept going up to her and I was like why are you so upset what's wrong tell me it's okay like I just was trying to like you know get her to get out of her shell. And she was like, I'm scared. And I was like, why are you scared? I was like, everyone here, like we're all friends, we're all nice. We all just, you know, we wanna hang out together, enjoy each other's company. Like everyone here is super sweet. And then she said something like, and I knew that it was the Lord speaking through this little girl and like teaching me a lesson while I was teaching this little girl lesson. Cause he literally made me preach to this girl what I should be preaching to myself. She was like, I'm really scared at night. 
and when I'm all alone and and my sister doesn't get scared but I get scared and like I there was just so much fear in her and I was just like and this was during the time where I was a new believer and so obviously like God was still working on me in this area of my life and it wasn't something that I was fully healed from. I was like, you don't have any reason to be afraid. I was like, do you know that Jesus is literally with you all the time? Like, I was like, do you know that you can literally just say, Jesus, I need your help. I know that I'm not alone because I know that you're with me and he will comfort you. He promises to always be there for you. He's always with you. So there's no reason to be afraid because Jesus is with you. And so I was saying that spiel to this little girl. Um, and then it was literally, I believe that night or the next day, I was alone in my house late at night and my parents were my parents were gone somewhere they dipped and so i was alone and it was dark and i was ready to go to bed but i was scared it's just so crazy thinking back because it honestly just seems like such a different time in my life that i'm like i can't believe that i struggled so much with this and like i just feel like god brought it back to so my memory is like People are still struggling with this and um, that's why I just feel inspired to speak about it. So I remember that night I was sitting on my bed and I was like, I'm so scared right now. I don't want to leave my room. Like it was literally that bad. I really struggled with this. Um, and then I remember so specifically, God reminded me of that little girl and what I said to her. And I was like, oh, dang it, you got me. I was like, if, I, if I'm telling that to that little girl, then I gotta be like telling that to myself and living that out. And I was like, okay, I know that the Lord is with me. Um, I don't have a reason to fear because his presence is with me. And over time, that area of fear in my life, the chains have broken, praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's just so crazy how much God transforms your life. And when you look back and you're like, I can't believe that I struggled in that area so badly. And then you're like, now it's like, you wouldn't even think about that. But like, God transformed me. God transformed that area of my life because I really did struggle so much in that area. And so God has broken those chains of fear in that area of my life. So I just want to minister to anyone that is going through a similar situation right now that God is able to break those chains and to heal you over time. The more that you just spend time with God and realize how much he is there to protect you and guide you and to be with you, it really just starts to transform your life in such an amazing way. So I'm just telling you guys my whole life story. So I feel like I haven't made a video in a while where I really opened up about myself and that's what I have been wanting to do since the beginning of this channel is I want to be real and honest with you guys with my struggles. If I'm going through something, even if it's not that pretty to talk about, I still wanna talk about it on here because I know that these areas can feel so lonely. I believe it was yesterday morning. I woke up and the Lord put a specific chapter on my heart. And it was Mark chapter 16, I believe. Um, and it was a story about how Jesus walked on water. So that area that I explained earlier of fear in my life, has been transformed and God has done a mighty work in that area. Um, but if you guys don't know from previous videos, I'm only saying this for the context of this video. I do struggle 
with OCD and it's something that puts a lot of fear in you. If you struggle with it, you know what I'm talking about. It's a very fear-driven disorder. So I just realized that I have been giving into my fear in that area of my life, in my mental life, in my thinking. I've just been giving into a lot of fear. And I feel like God is reminding me just like how he applied his presence in the first area of fear in my life that he can apply that same principle to this area of my life. So I just want to read a little bit of this chapter to you and just explain to you what the Lord is showing me and I just hope that it can help you if you are struggling with fear in any area. So it's actually found in the book of John in chapter 6. This is verses 16 to 21 and I'm just going to read the context of this story. So it says, so the title is Jesus Walks on Water and it says that evening Jesus' disciples went down to the shore to wait for him. But as darkness fell and Jesus still hadn't come back, they got into the boat and headed across the lake toward Capernaum. Soon a gale swept down upon them and the sea grew very rough. They had rowed three or four miles when suddenly they saw Jesus walking on the water toward the boat. They were terrified, but he called out to them, don't be afraid, I am here. Then they were eager to let him in the boat and immediately they arrived at their destination. So what really stuck out to me in this is his disciples were scared. They were terrified. They were getting tossed by a storm. Jesus was walking on water towards them. They were like, there was so much fear in them. And what does Jesus say after he says, don't be afraid to his disciples? He follows it with, I am here. And if you look in the Old Testament, especially in the book of Exodus with Moses, whenever God had commanded Moses to do something or commanded Joshua to do something or any of the people that he was working through to bring his glory down, he would say, do not fear. Do not be afraid. Don't be discouraged for I am with you. And it also says in the Bible that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we see that consistent in scripture with God literally saying that in the Old Testament and now Jesus on the earth saying, don't be afraid because I'm here. So God's answer to fear is always his presence. When we stand on the truth that God is with us, then we will have the ability to be healed in the area of fear. This area of fear that I am currently still walking out it's still a walk for me, but I know that God has a plan and a purpose in it. And I'm learning so many different lessons from it, including this. So God always continues his command to be strong and to not be afraid by the promise of his presence. So when we keep that in mind, when fear comes into our mind, when the enemy tries to get us at the worst time and bring fear in our mind, just remember, that Jesus said, do not fear for I am with you. I don't need to fear my future. I know that Jesus is there. He's with me in every season. And so I just wanted to come on here and encourage you and also encourage myself because this is something that God is just reminding me of and it's always a refreshing reminder. And we can struggle with fear in many different areas of our life whether it be anxiety or family problems or financial problems, like fear can creep in in many different areas of my life. Those two ways were the main ones that have crept in my life. But God has shown himself faithful with healing fear in my past. So I know that God is going to be faithful in healing this area of fear in my life now. Okay, I'm mind blown right now because as I'm literally saying this, 
God is literally answering a prayer. It's very beautiful. So I have to be honest, you know how when you're going through sometimes the Christian walk and you're like, God, can you remind me of your faithfulness? Because like, I'm getting weary and I'm getting a bit tired and like, I know that you are faithful and that like, you, you have been faithful in the past and you will be faithful in the present and in the future. But I literally prayed to God a couple days ago. I was like, God, could you just reveal to me very specifically where you have came through for me in an area that seemed impossible other than my salvation because that in itself was just a full-blown miracle. But I was like, God, I just, I want something to be able to cling on to. Like something where you've, you've showed your faithfulness in the past that I can hold on to now that like if God delivered me from that, he's gonna deliver me from this. And God is literally like putting everything together as I'm making this video. So thank you, Jesus. Maybe someone needs to hear that too. Maybe you need to ask God to remind you of where he's been faithful in the past. It's okay to admit that you're weary and that you're tired and that you forgot. The Israelites got weary and complained after God literally saved them from slavery in Egypt. Not too long after he did that, they were like, Lord, you should have just kept us there because we're gonna die here in these woods. God literally saved them from slavery and it's like they forgot about what he did. They forgot about the parting of the Red Sea. It's so easy for us to just get weary and tired and to have that type of attitude as well. But what I'm saying is if you feel led, you can just pray to God, God, I pray that you would reveal to me an area of my life where you have brought healing and transformation when it seemed impossible. God, Maybe I forgot, maybe I forgot of some of the mighty things that you did in my life. And you can just ask him humbly, like, please remind me, please show me God, um, to just strengthen my faith and my trust in you. And he will do it. He literally just did it right now. So thank you, Jesus. So I'm really happy that I recorded this video and I hope that you guys got something from this and that it encouraged you and inspired you to be bold, be real with God. Don't keep your struggles in, share it with someone. You're not alone and remember that Jesus is always with you and his presence brings god -fidence. His presence brings transformation. And so just keep that in mind. You are never alone and you are deeply loved. Jesus said that God has literally every hair on your head numbered. That's how much he pays attention to you. That's how much he loves you and is just captivated by you. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be back on soon for other videos that I'm pretty excited about, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you have an amazing and blessed and beautiful day.